Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this redstone torch breaking redstone torch detector. Um, it's essentially a bud switch that comes back here, but this is actually the block that the bud switch pushes. Uh, so uh, it works to knock the torch off, I guess. Uh, I came up with it by myself. I mean, I'm not saying that nobody else has come up with it first, I'm not really sure. But, uh, I did make this by myself without any outside help, so. It's very simple. Uh, the signal comes back here when you put the torch on the block. It updates that block, which is connected to the piston, so the piston updates. And it gets pulled back here, power comes up, it powers the piston directly, and then that power gets cut off while this power is still being applied and because of the diagonal bug thing it thinks it's being powered when this one is powered when this one's not <laughs> let me try to rephrase that when this one gets powered it extends and then this one gets powered and then this one stops being powered but because it, this one's still powered it thinks it's being powered so once this one stops being powered it doesn't actually update the block so it doesn't realize that it's not being powered um, this doesn't have to be here, it's just for show, so you can see the, the pulse. Uh, you can pull the output from any of these blocks here, just pulling like that. Um, or I suppose you could actually do this too, uh, like that. Or with a repeater, if you wanted. Anyway, uh, let's show you how to build it now. I'm not going to put the the lamp on there, just because it's not necessary. And again, you can, you can, uh, or not again, but like most of my secret designs, you can put any block you want here as long as it, uh, conducts redstone. Uh, I'm just, I just use this one because it's easier, and it looks cool, because it's a creeper face. But you don't want to put that on until last, so. Okay, and then block here, block there. There we go. There, there, there. That one there, that one there. These have to be one delay apart. This one has to be a longer delay than that one. Uh, you can increase the delay, but it's kind of pointless. And if you change it from one delay apart to like two or three, it starts doing some weird things. Um, so I would suggest you just leave it where it is. And then you put in the block, and there you go. It works pretty well for uh, secret things, because if it is the same as the wall, you know, nobody would know. If you just walk by, it looks like a normal wall, and you just put the torch on it. There you go. Uh, makes It's easier than my the previous kind that I used to use, because I used to have one where it was just a regular bud switch, where the block would be like this, and it would detect when you put the torch on it. But as you can see, when I put the torch on it, it makes one pulse. When I take it off, it makes one pulse. So you'd have to do it really quick, which could get problematic if you're not good with timing or if you're on a server or something. This one works, works much better. Uh, the timing might be different on a server. I'm not really sure. I have made one on a server, but it was a long time ago. Um, but it does work on a server at the very least, so you might just have to fiddle with it a little bit. It is 3x3x3, three by three by three, except if you include the wall, because this is a part of the bud switch right here. So, you know. But for the most part, considering you kind of... The design requires a wall regardless. I'm going to say that it takes up 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Um, yeah. So, I, I wanted to make this video because I saw CNB Minecraft uploaded a video of his bat cave, and he had a secret door that used a similar device, but it was one where, like I said, you would put it on, and I'm not really sure if it was a bud switch like this, I didn't actually look at the wiring, uh, but you would have to put on the torch and break it off and time it properly. This would just be much simpler, you know, you can just put it on and it knocks it off for you, and I've never had it actually land in the block there. Like, I've never actually had the torch land on that, or in the block on the wall, so... Um, because it does retract and then extend again, so if it did land on there, it would just push it right back off. Uh, yeah. So I just thought I would make this video and hopefully send it to CNB Minecraft. If, if you're watching this, then awesome. I, I love all your videos. You do a lot of really cool stuff. Um, and for any of my viewers, you should check out CMD Minecraft because he is very awesome and he does a lot of really cool redstone things. Uh, he has a 60 second tutorial for this uh, piston door over here. 
so it's the most compact version, I believe. Uh, so it's it's really small, really simple to build, actually. So you should go check that out. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.